As the title says, this is just a short video to show how Victron's VRM remote console illustrates what's happening when you turn an electrical load on and the battery has to react. I'm using a portable heater and it's got a setting of 600 and 900 watts, so I'm trying both of those. And it shows 700 watts, not 600, for some unknown reason. But what we can see here is it starts at the 700 watts and then gradually reduces down and takes 16 seconds to get to the grid set point of minus 50. And at this point, the battery is providing all of the extra power needed to try and balance the grid to the minus 50 grid set point. As soon as the device is turned off, the battery continues to send energy out towards the house and hence it's not being used, so it goes to the grid. And then gradually it's reducing the amount of power that it's sending. It's not doing it instantaneously and it's taking 12 seconds in total until it gets to a point of zero discharge from the battery. Whether these delays are real, whether they are actually the battery responding in this time, or whether it's the monitor here responding in this amount of time, I'm not sure. And now trying exactly the same, but turning it on using a 900 watt setting. And again, it's taking about the same amount of time to get down to that grid set point. Again, it takes 16 seconds. And the same happens again when we turn the device off. It takes about 12 seconds for the battery to stop discharging. Overall, I'm happy with the performance of the battery. These delays only take a few watt hours of grid energy, but it still seems like a little bit longer time than I would have expected for the battery to adjust power levels. I can't help but wonder whether other battery systems respond in similar timescales, or whether they really are instantaneous.